Your sausage egg McMuffin? Yes. Yes, we do. Can I get, yeah, two sausage egg McMuffins? Anything else? Okay. That'll do it. How long ago was it that we last gave blood? Christmas. Around the holidays? Yeah. But we're gonna do it again. Because we can. Because it's the right thing to do. They need it. They need the blood. The hospital is expanding, but when they built this building about 10 years ago, I got to fly up there with, not with a quadcopter drone, but an old single rotor with my buddy Aaron uh, to show off the construction. I'll have to pull up that old clip. Either I come down in a hurry or uh, it comes down in a hurry. All right, we gave blood. We got our snacks. This is the best part, is the snacks. That's why I give blood. Also, you know, it's a good thing to do and give blood so that the hospitals have it. How did you do? I didn't pass out this time. Yeah, last time Lauren got lightheaded and laid down on the ground. I didn't pass out, pass out. You didn't. But my body was definitely like, you're sitting now. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. We got we got our Mickey D's. We got, our, I got some french fries. We got our treats. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah, well, our bodies will remake that blood. We're back at my parents' house. Lauren's gonna scan some more pictures. But dang, look at all these flowers that bloomed just over the last couple days. Blood is always fun. The treats are nice afterward. But it made me think like, what are the what are the different blood types and who can receive what blood type? So I looked it up. There are eight blood types: A positive, O positive, B positive, A B positive, and then all of those again: A negative, O negative, B negative, A B negative. Now I'm A positive. That means my blood can go to other A positive people and AB positive. So that means my blood can't go to any of the negatives or or an O type. So pretty kind of limited, but they said it's still important that I donate. I can receive blood from another A positive, an A negative, an O positive, or an O negative. So I can take from four different types. Seems a little greedy that only two types can receive my blood, but I can take four different types. I didn't, I didn't make the rules. Then there's O positive. O positive can give to any of the other positive blood types, both O positive, A, B, and AB. Not bad. On the flip side though, O positive can only receive from O positive or O negative. So they can give to four, but they can only take from two. It's kind of the opposite of where I am. B positive is like A positive, but it can give to B positive and AB positive and it can take from B positive, B negative, O positive, and O negative. You follow? Okay. AB positive is kind of interesting in that their blood can only be given to other AB positive people. So it's kind of the most useless blood. Just kidding, I don't, it's not useless. Donate blood, please. But uh, on the greedy side, they can accept blood from anybody. All the blood types, just give them all the blood, ah! A negative can give blood to any of the blood types that have A. A positive, A negative, AB positive, AB negative. But they can only get blood from other A negative or O negative blood types. B negative can give to any of the blood types that have a B in it. B positive, B negative, AB positive, AB negative. But can only get blood from B negative and O negative. AB negative can give to either of the AB blood types. AB positive, AB negative but can receive from a good number. A, B negative, A negative, B negative, and O negative. Now, O negative. This is the universal donor. 
uh, this, these are the people who are getting hit up by the blood bank like every eight weeks. As soon as they can donate again, they're getting the phone call like, please, can you donate some blood? Because their blood can go anywhere. They can give blood to anyone, anytime. Well, not anytime because you have to wait like eight weeks. But the downside is, the bummer is, O negative can only receive O negative. It's very specific from who they can receive. So if you're O negative, don't take any risks because your blood is a little more scarce. Pretty interesting stuff. We're in a pandemic. The hospitals need blood. So if you are able to give blood, it's it's highly recommended. I know there's still a lot of restrictions, but donating blood is a, is a great way to help out, you know, everybody in the pandemic. Even if you don't have money to donate to different charities and, and support groups during the pandemic, you can at least Give blood. Oh, one more thing before I go. It's currently the Fresno Rogue Festival. The Rogue Festival is a fringe festival and it's all virtual this year. I'd like to highlight my friends at the Fools Collaborative. They're doing their show Swill. I think it's the third year, but it's it's drunk Shakespeare. They do abridged one hour versions of a Shakespeare show. This year it's Romeo and Juliet. And one of the cast members is selected to get drunk right before curtain call. Oh, Romeo, Romeo. Whatever I thought, Romeo, deny thy father and refuse thy name, or if thou wilt not be but sworn, my love, and I'll no longer be a Capulet. Huh. Shall I hear more, or shall I speak at this? I've seen it in person, and it's really fun. And this year, practically anyone can see it live streamed into their home. So go check them out. On Twitter, they're at Fresno Fools, and on Instagram, they're at The Fools Collaborative. They have links to get tickets there, and proceeds from this year's show are going to the Save the Tower Fund to help prevent a not very inclusive church from buying the Tower Theater. Watch my vlog about the Tower Theater to learn more. That's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. Shoo.